part of our success at State as an organization is that we are evangelical Christians. So when we go in to say, hey, let's do something, um, it's not bringing in foreign words, foreign ideas, especially in conservative faith communities all mm -hmm. around the world. It has to be kind of grown there so that people recognize it and it doesn't look irreligious. It doesn't look like it's not their faith. Um, and it really catches quicker and people really get it. Um, if you frame pluralism or the activities associated with it in their language, and that took time. Like they were, I would say, and this is a maybe a more of a career statement, but it was like, it took years of just trying but before we got paid to like, to push that thing along and like figure out the right words and the right networks. Um, like, and that will happen in I think all these other spaces as well, where you just really have to spend a bit of time. But when it starts to make sense to people, when it, it has a bit of a track record in the community, they'll go, that's a great idea. We're gonna do that. We're gonna adopt that. We're gonna get 500 people to do it this Saturday. Well, um, I would suggest that um, it doesn't have to be a separate standalone activity. You know, it can be something that you're building into all the spaces where you normally convene. You know, where you are, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're trying to make sure that you aren't talking about some some we that excludes, right? You know, you're, you're trying yeah. to make sure that your language is open enough um, for the broadest construct of who might be with you. 